Hey guys, it's Chef from Pressure to Luck, and the 4th of July is right around the corner, so get those star-spangled banners out and wave them high. Because, of course, after you've made the fireworks chicken, which you have to, it's so delicious, you're gonna love it, we gotta polish that meal off with something that's fabulous, a wonderful dessert, something classic and all-American. We're talking something that pretty much everybody loves. Not an apple pie, but an apple crumble right in the Instant Pot. Couldn't be easier, couldn't be more delicious. So get all patriotic and let's go right to that pot. Before we get to the Instant Pot, let's start with five Granny Smith apples, peeled and cut into chunks about this size. And now we're gonna take our apples and we're gonna put them in the Instant Pot. And we're gonna add on top of that a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, kinda get it all over if possible, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. And we're going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup, use the good stuff, and two tablespoons of a caramel syrup sauce. And for any curious minds who are wondering what I used out there, it's this stuff. The Smucker's Sunday Syrup Caramel Flavored. Perfect. And then top it off with a half a cup of water and just pour it over. Now in a microwave safe bowl, I'm going to add a half a stick or four tablespoons of salted butter and melt it in the microwave. And that only took 30 seconds to do in the microwave, by the way. Into our melted butter, I'm going to add a third of a cup of light brown sugar, a quarter of a cup of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of sea salt, and three quarters of a cup of old-fashioned oats, which you could find anywhere. And then make sure we mix everything together. And there we go, all nice and mixed up and combined. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop them by the plop full on top of our apple. So I'm using a spoon and I'm just going to put some here and then I'm going to put some here. Sort of just sprinkle it all throughout the pot. So it's in nice plops all over the place. And there we go, there's the last of it. And it should just look like that when all said and done. And you know, the word of the day is plops. All right, let's secure our lid. Make sure we're in sealing position, come down here, hit manual, and we're gonna just go down for eight minutes, guys. That's all. And our cooking just finished, and we're gonna allow a natural release. That means we're not gonna do a quick release, we're gonna allow it to release naturally. And our pin dropped, so now let's open the lid. And there's our beautiful apple crumble. So now that it's all done, you're gonna see that all the liquid pretty much is absorbed into the oats and the apples, and we're just gonna serve it right out of the Instant Pot, scoop some out, and put some right in a serving bowl. And there we have it, wonderful. And now we're gonna to top our beautiful apple crumble off with, what else? Vanilla ice cream. And there we go. And two scoops for good luck. And now we're gonna just top it off with a few drizzles of that caramel sauce. Ooh, yeah. And there's our beautiful finished product. Let's dig in, guys. <laughs> Let's try some of this magnificent apple crumble out. All right. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely out of this world. I always said the best way to be patriotic is by eating patriotic food. It's amazing, it's so healthy too. I mean, there's apples and there's oats in it, right? <laughs> Who cares, don't, don't tell anybody. It's perfectly acceptable to indulge in something so patriotic and American every so often. You know what I'm saying? And the caramel, the oats, the maple syrup, everything, the sugar, everything combining. It's just like this amazing burst in my mouth of flavor and coolness and happiness and joy. Guys, for more recipes like these, if you enjoy these videos, please go to PressureLuckCooking.com or .net. It's the same thing. Doesn't matter where you go. Go to Facebook.com backslash PressureLuckCooking for more content with Facebook Live videos galore. Um, I'm here if you have any questions, of course. Thank you again so much for your support. Have a wonderful and safe 4th of July and uh, just, just make this the firecracker chicken and the baby back ribs and the macaroni salad for the 4th of July and I'm telling you every year is going to be the 4th of July year at your house. Mm -hmm.